Hey y'all, welcome back to the Smoky Mountain Smiths. I wanted to do a container garden update. This year, we um, obviously relocated from the Panhandle of Florida to the East Tennessee Smoky Mountains. We uh, were in grow zone 8B down there in Florida, and now we are in grow zone 7A, I believe. Uh, we are in the foothills, so a little bit different climate, um, kind of like a learning curve. Obviously, an in-ground garden would be more ideal, but I'm not one to sit things out. So this year, I decided to do a small container garden, and I just want to give you an update where um, where we're at, how things are doing. I started it um, most... The, the wise tale I've heard around here is you don't want to get your plants in the ground until before Mother's Day because um, there's always could be a late freeze. So um, some of these I did start from seed indoors with a grow light and some of these I just purchased plants. Um, but they are about a month and a half in and I just kind of wanted to show everybody what I've had success so far. Hopefully we will get some sort of harvest and um, just kind of share what I'm learning. Next year, I really, really hope that we can have some sort of in-ground garden. We purchased raw land and it was completely wooded. So we literally, even the spot that the garden is in, we have had to clear ourselves. So um, small area to grow in right now too. Um, it's almost midday. And this, there's a little bit of shade here because there is a uh, black walnut that is over this. And I also know black walnuts are not good to grow around because they put off a toxin in their roots and whatnot. So um, not the greatest garden location but um, making do with what I have and I'm gonna go through and just kind of give you a quick little rundown of what I have going and we'll see how it turns out the rest of the summer okay this is a Gerber Daisy with creeping Jenny in it I purchased this in Florida many years ago it was actually completely on its deathbed and I revived it and every year it's come back um, very happy with this one normally there's a fuller um, of the creeping Jenny but uh, obviously just a little bit behind this year this is carrots. I started this from seed and so far it's looking pretty well. I know that there's quite a bit in here. I should have thinned some of it out, but you know, we're making do with what we have. This is crooked neck squash. I got this from plant and it's actually doing pretty well. I do have um, some squash growing. I have noticed the ones that are shriveling off and dying if they were not pollinated. So I am trying my best to hand pollinate if possible. Um, right here, I have a um, pickling cucumber. I made the mistake of purchasing the pickling cucumber. I wanted the burpless, but it is what it is. I do have a few little cucumbers already going. Hopefully um, get a few out of this this year. Great for salads and whatnot. Right here, I got some zucchini going and these are actually doing well. I have a couple little zucchinis here and there. Uh, so far, so good. Down in Florida, we had a real battle with vine borers. I used to have um, lose a lot of my zucchini in the early season due to vine borers. I know they are up here as well, but they have not attacked yet. I'm hoping they will hold out and um, maybe we'll get a few zucchini out of it. This is um, probably what I'm most excited about. I love sweet potatoes and um, I got a few sweet potato plants and I put it in this deep container. So I'm hoping come fall, I'll have a great harvest. Uh, we'll see. I've always heard people say um, container growing for potatoes is great. I've always grown them in ground, but we will see how it does. These are just a few sweet potatoes I had in the kitchen that had went bad and I planted them here a few weeks ago just to see if they would grow some slips on the top of them. We do have a few leaf cutter ants um, and I'm trying to use just very sparingly seven dust if possible. Right here is my gorgeous little dwarf rose bush. Um, I'm very, very happy with this. This is, seems to be thriving right here. These roses are so beautiful. This actually came from, with me from Florida, as well as this rose bush and this gardenia. Um, I'm very happy they made it through the freeze. As most of y'all know, the South saw some very, very cold weather this winter around Christmas. We saw on our weather gauge that it felt like negative 10 wind chill. I was able to keep these alive um, in the shed, even though it was very, very cold and they seem to be doing well. Very excited about these and hopefully one day I will be able to plant them in the ground next to our home that we build. Okay, the rest of the quick rundown. This is actually an avocado tree and it seems to be thriving. Got lots of new growth as you can see the shine on top of the leaves. This actually came from my sister. She started this from an avocado seed and um, I know they don't grow that great here in East Tennessee. So I'm hoping one day when we do have a greenhouse, I can get it in a bigger pot and keep it going year round. Again, kept this uh, alive during the winter season. Very happy that it's still sticking around. 
right here I have some green beans. I started these from seed. I've kind of neglected them, just letting them do what they do. It is what it is. They make it great, if not okay. Um, Lantana, my elephant ears from Florida. They're still alive as well. Happy to see that they're still hanging around. Um, I think they'll do better in a greenhouse, but in the meantime, just keeping them alive. I have a couple sunflowers um, and zinnias here. Got some blooms getting ready to open. Uh, very excited, started all those from seed. Now, right here we have a, a variety of peppers. In Florida, we always had huge success with peppers. Uh, here, um, like I said, we're about a month behind in the grow season, so they're not as far along, but I am getting a few peppers. Have not harvested any yet, but you can see we have a few jalapenos here and um, some green and red peppers, uh, hot peppers, lots of buds. Um, some more peppers right here. So excited to see how they turn out. Like I said, uh, doing a container garden. I have been doing gardening since about 2014. And um, mostly we've always done in ground. In the very first years we did do container garden, but I wanted to share this because um, anybody can do a container garden. Um, not that hard you just need a few little containers i really didn't purchase very much because i didn't i wanted to reuse what i had and obviously this is hopefully just a short-term thing so i just reused a lot of the pots i had now i did purchase these stackable um which these are great from the dollar tree this year they were like a dollar and a quarter i bought a bunch of them i figured they would be great too for in a greenhouse down the road to stack and be able to save space and grow as much as possible i have some herbs growing here in them and they are doing phenomenal I have lavender, basil. Um, I've always had success with basil and so far it seems to be loving here as well. This one is a very easy one to propagate. So I'm going to try and see if I can save it over winter. Cilantro, I've battled with cilantro forever. I've always been told it does not like cold, um, I'm sorry, it does not like heat and sun. And um, obviously there's the truth. It's at the end of its life. Um, we've had a lot of luck with the lettuce. That's actually been one of the things that we've already harvested this year and made a couple salads out of. So I'm happy with the lettuce. It seems to be growing very, very well in these containers, these stackable containers. Right here is actually water oak. Um, it's a water oak tree that I took from Florida with us um, from little acorns I dug up from the yard and I'm hoping one day to plant it around here. Um, some spinach, some zinnias, again, started those from seeds so they're a little behind. Marigolds, more lettuce. Uh, right here, this is what I'm most excited about. Uh, my strawberries, they seem to be thriving. Um, with strawberries they grow lots of shoots off of them and you can start many new strawberry plants and they are uh, perennial so they will come back every year so if you keep it alive you will have endless amount of tomato um, sorry strawberry plants i had one in florida that every year would come back and i never had to purchase i wish i had dug it up with me but the next uh, person that owns our property will soon find strawberry plants all over and i'm excited for this one so i hope i can keep it going eventually get it in a greenhouse and we can harvest strawberries all year long and last but not least the tomato plants um, little pumped I believe that we have some early blight on our beefsteak tomato it is what it is you know making do so but I do have a few beefsteak tomatoes um, growing and I'm very excited hopefully we'll get some juicy tomatoes from that I actually tried for the very first time some sucker plants and they so far seem to be doing good and I'm very very excited um, as most of you know right here in the armpit of the tomato plant you can prune this sucker off and start a whole new tomato plant and that is what I've done and I want to show you I did this about two weeks ago see the roots this is amazing and not only that I already have new buds so it's a way to speed up the process to not start new tomato plants from seed and what I'm hoping is I have two of the great uh, tomatoes and two of the beef steaks I'm hoping that once these two get to the end of their lives um, these will already be going and I'm hoping in a couple weeks to get them in some bigger pots and we'll have tomatoes a little bit later in the season Season, and we'll just see what happens so very very excited to successfully have done that and some cherry I'm sorry grape tomatoes and like I said we were doing pretty well with them lots of little ones on here hopefully we'll be able to um, harvest them soon and enjoy them in some salads and whatnot of course the chickens love them and last but not least too I actually am so excited about this find so this is elderberry. I actually found this on our property and I, when we were in Florida, I used to look for elderberry all the time to see if I could get any clippings to propagate. I'm not sure how it's going to work out, but I did do some root grow um, on the stems. I've harvested a couple. Everything I've been reading is you wanna harvest it in March and 
February, um, February, March, but I didn't want to miss out on this plant, forget where it was. So I went ahead and propagated a couple pieces. I have some in water as well to try and root, but I'm told that they look kind of sad for the first few days. I just did this yesterday and they are supposed to take off. Elderberry is phenomenal for coughs, syrups, everything, jams. I'm very excited. Hopefully I can get something off of these. If not, I know where the plant is and I hope to harvest more and we will see. But that is my 2023 container garden so far. Very small, very simple. Um, something's better than nothing i'm not one to sit things out and while i wish we could have had an in-ground garden maybe next year we will have a spot picked out already and have it tilled up and we can feed uh, the soil over winter and get a much better um harvest but again this is what we have going on and i wanted just to share because anybody can do a container garden so simple just to grow a few things and um it's good for your soul. I love being in the garden. It makes me feel good. Uh, I love seeing things grow that you put hard work into. And um, thanks again. I hope y'all have a wonderful day.